Islam is the only major ancient tradition, and technically it's medieval, which one would have to be rationally impaired to believe. The Torah, the Tanakh, the Pentateuch, the Setaguin, the Old Testament took 2,000 years, over 2,000 years to write. The New Testament has been uh, you know, worth killing for for 2,000 years. It's the year of our Lord, 2023, because it hasn't happened again since. It's named after Jesus Christ, not you. Islam makes people ridiculous. It forces them. It just flogs people until they're like, okay, I'm ridiculous. And they're like, it's right. In fact, Geneva, World Health, you have to be ridiculous to think that Islam is a religion as opposed to a corporation. In fact, it's a corporate slave raiding cult. But it is a cult. And just in spite of all the effort put into uh, the smirching cults, if you own a cemetery, your cult. One might even go so far as to say, as I have, that a religion has to be backed by a cult. Any philosopher can carry out the will of his gods, but a cult performs last rites, consecrating uh, this life to the next. I wrote a theological definitions for the IRS, what, six, seven years ago? It's, it's been a while. We've had ample opportunity to it's a short blog, it's not a big blog. And you know what, I, I think I want etched on my, my tombstone. Being a fucking retard is a form of insanity too. Thinking Islam as a religion means you don't know what a religion is. It means you don't know what a god is. Sending Muslims to minister to the Spanish and the Catholic Church means you have no respect for the Catholics because only the Muslims would do that. It's heresy. Infiltrating the Spanish Catholic Church in America to force the Mexicans to try to compete through you know, other avenues while the gay mafia, oh, well, that's you, brainwashes our little boys from the cradle to the grave with rainbows. When you feed from the hand of the messenger of Allah, he owns you. There is always unfinished business because he's paranoid. Your religion relies over heavily on sneaking around and blaming somebody else. The moment you get found out your religion is wrong, you promise peace on behalf of God until you fail, as eventually all men must. You make a liar of your God not mine. My God warned you. My God told you this was going to happen. Locally, the excuses for turning people against me, other than them being brainwashed morons, the hospital ripped the head off a baby and it can no longer have a maternity ward, yet it continues to expand in every other direction but new life. That's probably what people consider Satanism, I just look at it in terms of Islamic colonialism. As long as they're ridiculous, the Muslims can come and go. I've caught a couple of personnel interfering directly, so morons, if you wouldn't mind. Then there's the sheriff, the world's most wanted sheriff. According to my understanding of Watchtower methodology, that's not his real name, except that the Watchtower says it is which it, uh, makes it important that the Watchtower is not a religion either because religion is a search for universal and eternal truth. It's meant to last forever. We're out sailing around the globe to prove it's flat, more Islamic colonialism because I debunked Satanism. Whatever you think is satanic, ask me anything. It doesn't even exist. They say the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Well, Satan exists but Satanism is not a rational system of belief. It's obviously a form of slavery. 
It's just Islamic colonialism. Finally, the Muslims are dressing up like priests and ministering directly to the Spanish in the Catholic Church. This causes desperation in the Latin American community. And I'm so sorry nobody ever taught you bubbleheads. No, I don't want to say bubbleheads because that's the Navy. The Navy is more trustworthy than anybody you know. Whatever. I, I'm not, okay, so we're not talking about the Navy. We're talking about the, the homos and fucking retards from me to Washington. People deciding whether or not I can get mail. The people filing false uh, appeals on my behalf just so I can get rejected. So the Nigerians are ministering directly to the Spanish and the Catholic Church. Why? Are we running out? We're running out of Spanish priests, Washington. No, it's because Protestants think anybody who isn't lily white and not bilingual, like people who, who only speak one, you have to speak English or German and be pure as the driven snow. Because it's all homos and fucking retards. They worship homos and fucking retards. They don't believe in a real God. Whereas the Torah reads like a manual to be chosen by the omnipotent and eternal one true creator of heaven and earth to do great things, to be, to be chosen by something that which gives us all the opportunity to live this life. These people think they are God. Not the, not the flock. The flock's a bunch of jingle heads like anybody else. But a priest of the Catholic Church doesn't think he's God. There's a limit. Like, there's a reason I don't go around with a gun saying I do what I want. Because you can get shot for that. And I got bigger fish to fry. It's not that I'm scared. It's that I've already done the research. I'm not conforming to someone else's Islamified understanding of religion. Trying to become some kind of a, a demagogue. Like, I need more goddamn zombies like I'm so sorry you don't speak Spanish I don't either I'm not gonna become an unwashed asshole you have to be able to to say to these people hey uh what are you are your sons going around raping people and then the Spanish priests have the opportunity to say well no that, that's not part of our that's not our methodology if you remember about five minutes ago I said that word and I you know they say it's the it's the Jews they're trying to make the the Jewish anti-defamation league carry the uh, the cost of I mean they got Reagan and the Pope shot and there's a reason my marine took to a clock tower to let Texas A&M have it for acting like a bunch of because your tuition is not my fuck up. And your opinion, you can file that right up there with your <laughs> forgiveness. London, does anyone there still speak English? I understand it's under new ownership. That's not our London, Washington. It's not your London. Take London over Alberta any day. But yes, your blind Protestantism has become too, like, you, it costs too much to feed you. I didn't declare war, you declared it an interim regime, remember? The tea goes in the harbor. I'm not the tea, I'm the guy with the map. In case you can't find the harbor. It has to be some kind of human sacrifice operation because God isn't real, it's gotta be some guy. It's heresy.